Hi, today I'm making a table. I started by drawing plants and then I bought a lot of wood. Let's start by preparing the lumber for the legs. I'm gonna save the cutoff piece for the tabletop. I'm clamping down the big piece to keep the bottom as flat as possible. Well, that didn't work perfectly, so I'm just gonna use a hand plane to trim the small piece flush to the big piece. I don't want to face joint it because it's so heavy. Now let's prepare the lumber for the rails. This piece is thicker than my other pieces so I cut it thinner, but it's also narrower than my other pieces so I cut all the pieces to the same width. Now let's make the mortises. And tenons. This is not a very accurate way to cut tenons, but it kind of works. This is how to figure out where you have to chisel away. Some of the pencil lines have disappeared. And here's one of the joints all done. I cut little notches to the ends of the pieces so they can fit together properly. And here's a dry fit. I'm just gonna glue it back together and clamp it with tape. Now to the tabletop. This is the piece I saved earlier. For some of the work I use my neighbor's table saw, he's helping me at the outfit side. This is the first time I have ever used a table saw. I orientated the pieces so that the tabletop doesn't warp. More about that in my octagon shaped box video. And I'm just marking them with numbers. The table saw blade was a little bit dull so I have to join all the table sound edges. I don't spread glue to all of the joints so the pieces will still fit through my planing machine. And removing some of the squeeze out.
I use doubles to help line up the pieces. I have some packing tape on the clamps so the glue won't stick to them. I use two nails and a string to guide a pencil for drawing an oval. It takes a little bit of trial and error. I made this jig for sanding the edges of the tabletop, but it turns out that the big tabletop is difficult to move smoothly. So what I did instead is clamping the tabletop to the workbench and kind of using the bench top to guide the sander. I let these things dry before gluing the whole thing together. And I sign the bottom of the tabletop with a Dremel tool. I used a round over bit with an undersized bearing to round the profile to the edges of the tabletop. When I was routing, the bearing of the router bit flew away and this is what it looked like. So I sanded away the burn marks and then routed another kind of profile. Now I can finally apply the finish. I attach the tabletop with angle irons and I orientate them so that the tabletop can move with changes in humidity. And I have a table. Here it is with the rest of the furniture in our living room. So thanks for watching.